Hey what's up guys, David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you the best free VPN I've come across. Now if you're tired of online restrictions and are concerned about your privacy, then this is for you. Alright, let's dive right into it. Now before we get started, let's talk about why VPN or virtual private networks are so essential. A VPN will enable you to access geo-restricted content from various streaming services such as Netflix, safeguard your personal information on public Wi-Fi networks, bypass government censorship and surveillance, and prevent bandwidth throttling from your internet service provider. I've used both free and paid VPN providers. Now for the paid versions, I've used ExpressVPN and Surfshark while for the free version, I've used Winscribe and ProtonVPN. But today, I want to focus on the best free VPN I've used, and that is ProtonVPN. Now, ProtonVPN is best in Switzerland, and they offer both paid and free plans. This provider is known for its unwavering commitment to user privacy and security, and it's protected by Swiss privacy laws, which are some of the strongest in the world. Now, Proton VPN's free plan offers no data caps and speed limits. There are also no annoying ads, unlike most free VPNs. They don't log your data or online activity, and the free tier supports a wide variety of platforms, including Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, Chromebook, and Smart TVs. The free plan limits your server location to three countries, and that is US, Japan, and the Netherlands. Now, ProtonVPN makes it clear that the free plan doesn't guarantee a smooth streaming experience, so if you plan on using it for accessing geo-restricted content across different geographies, then this might be a big limitation. However, it's way much better than a lot of crappy free VPNs I've used out there. Additionally, the free plan gives you access to only one device at a time. That means you can't access the VPN from, say, your phone and laptop at the same time. So let me install it on my Mac right now and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so let's go to Proton VPN website. Okay, I right, come to downloads here, come to VPN for Mac if you have a Mac. Uh, download for windows if you have windows linux iphone ipad android and also you have chrome extensions here so i already downloaded it i'm just going to come to downloads here okay so it's right here i need to move that to applications and there it goes. So it is now ready installed. I'm going to search for it now. Proton VPN, and there you go. Yes, I'm just going to say open here. And I'm going to log in with my username and password. If you didn't create an account, you probably want to tap on create account here. Uh, before you can log in. All right, so here it is. Say system extension blocked. The application Proton VPN tried to load a new system ex extension. If you want to enable these extensions, open privacy and security in the system settings. All right, so there is something that we have to enable, and there's a little tutorial here on how to enable that extension. You can see this little video here. So I'm going to open system settings on my Mac. Okay, so just come to privacy and security here and then come here to some system software requires your attention before it can be used. So tap on details, enter your password and here you go. So system software from the following developer was updated and the system needs to be restarted before it can be used. So I'm going to enable this and that's pretty much it, right? Yes. All right, so I'm going to just connect to the USCM. I'm going to choose a server, then connect. Okay, so Proton VPN would like to add a VPN configuration, say allow here. And there you go. So it's now connected to one of the 
uh, servers in the US. So it's really this simple and it's really this easy. So the free version gives you access to three countries, that is Japan, Netherlands, and the United States right here. Uh, if you want to have access to more uh, locations, as you can see, we have access to over 61 countries down here, then you'll have to upgrade to the pro version, which starts from, I think, $6 per month. Right. All right, now let me talk about the Wi-Fi router support. Now, if you take Savvy, you can take your Proton VPN experience to the next level by installing it on a supported Wi-Fi router. With support for WireGuard and OpenVPN protocols, you can connect multiple devices to the VPN network simultaneously, allowing you bypass the one device restriction I mentioned earlier. As a matter of fact, I've managed to install Proton VPN on my D-Link 885L Wi-Fi 5 router, which is actually the primary router for my home devices. So I was able to connect over seven devices to the VPN network without an issue. All right, now let's talk about the user experience. Proton VPN's user interface is sleek, fast, and consistent across devices. Now, whether you're using it on your phone, tablet, or laptop, the experience remains top-notch. It remains consistent, it remains almost the same. And this is one of the things I like about this VPN. And with no distracting ads to get in your way, you can focus on what really matters the most, which is your online freedom and privacy, and of course, your browsing experience. So, most of you may be asking, so how is Proton VPN really free? It seems to be too good to be true, right? Yes. According to their website, which I looked up, they claim that they are able to offer a free plan thanks to the support of the Proton community. I suppose this is from the people that are subscribed to their paid plans. Now, if you want to be one of those people that are paying for this service, uh, you can upgrade to the pay tiers and unlock even more features. And that includes P2P or BitTorrent support. You get access to over 61 countries, up from three countries on the free plan. The paid version has support of up to 10 concurrent connections instead of one connection and it supports speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second so it's really really fast if you go premium but if you stick with a free plan you're still getting one of the best vpn experiences out there that i've tested with no strings attached all right and there you have it folks the best free vpn i've come across cool now if you found this video helpful be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and reviews. Until next time guys, stay safe and stay secure. I'll see you guys in the next one.